We're off the coast of Oporto. Seen from a helicopter, this machine looks like a sea snake. It's a Pelamis wave energy converter, which generates electricity from the movement of the waves. Clean, renewable energy. Two Pelamis converters have just been launched here. They're a world premiere. At the Port of Lechance, the engineer in charge of the project takes us to look at one of the devices close up. In time, there will be 25 Pelamis converters off the coast of Oporto. This Pelamis generates the equivalent of what a wind turbine was producing five years ago, which is around 750 kilowatts per hour. This machine alone can meet the energy demands of 500 Portuguese homes a year. With these images filmed with a webcam, we can see how the wave movement acts on the machine. The forward and back swell activates hydraulic rams and at the end of the process generates electricity. This is then transferred to terra firma by a cable. Wind technology has probably been the, the main technology so far to become commercial, um, but there's a very great resource for, for wave energy and this is the first commercial demonstration of that. When the Pelamis converters were launched, we went on board this frigate to get out to where they were being installed. During the trip, the Portuguese Minister of Economy told us why his country wants to ride the crest of this new wave. We are currently generating almost 45% of the electricity used in this country from renewable energy sources. The aim is to hit 60% by 2020. This whole shift is creating more industry. New businesses are being set up here. There are already more than 10,000 people working in the sector. The state is guaranteeing a set purchase price for the electricity generated to the Scottish company Pelamis Wave Power. The aim is to encourage partnerships between the public and private sectors. We've already created a pilot zone in the north of Lisbon which is open to installation of new technologies. So if there are more companies and entrepreneurs who want to bring their technology and projects to Portugal, they're coming into a good situation. We're open to these experiences. In the medium term, Portugal hopes to rival Denmark and Japan in the field of renewable energies.